Right, the fly I'm tying here uh, has a another hackle at the front here, which seems to be a slightly lighter uh, version of the claret. So I'm going to put that on, but I'm just going to use tweezers and pull out any fibres that aren't behaving as I would like. And then I'm going to take a lighter claret hackle and put on a throat with that. So what we need to do here is match for length. So I'm looking through my hackles and sort of seeing what the final length of the fibre. Now it's not this bit that counts, it's this bit down here. So if I take that feather out, pull out these fibres slightly down to the side and then set that underneath and that will show me that the final length of the final wrap that I'm going to put on here is going to be sort of a little bit longer than the last bit of this that went on. So. Doubling hackles is covered in another video. So take our hackle, grab it by the tip. Fold all the fibres onto one side. Now, a modern convention here is to use schlappen or softer hackles uh, because they're easier to mould into the shape that you want. But anyway, so I'm going to take, I've taken my hackle here, I've doubled it over so all the fibres are laying on one side. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass that along until I meet the fibres at the start where I'm breaking this off, these fibres at the start are roughly the same length as the last bit of this body hackle that went on. So the two should sort of meld into each other, that's the plan. I like to put tie the hackle in forward, across the very last bit of stock, then pull it back and wrap across it. Take our hackle pliers. And as we wrap, I'm just twisting the hackle so the stock is going to lie flatter in against the side. And my fibre should sweep back better. stocks have been in touch and turns. And that comes over the right side I'm tying off on the bare stock. Turn that off. Bit of wax. Feather fibers out of the way and wrap on. So these ones are in the way. So you can pull whatever you can off to the side and down below. Stroke it back, squeeze it here, that'll help to sort of hold those in position. But these ones up here are never going to behave, so hold back the stuff that you're keeping. Take tweezers and pull against them, as if you were in the direction you'd be stripping them off if the hackle wasn't attached. And then 
take a bit of spit. Wet all that. And sort of stroke it back into position. Into the shape that you would like it to be. Pinch that. And then set that aside to dry. Now what some people do, personally I don't do it myself, uh, is to get like clothes pegs and stuff and clip that onto there or something. You could also use your hackle pliers. Let's say put it on like that. They clip that on and then they let the fly dry with that. Um, not something I've really done much myself, so I'm not going to start it. Now, as we also mentioned before in the previous video, you can also have tied these tippets in after you tied that throat in. Personal preference, do whatever you want. Uh, I do both. Just depends on the overall look that I'm going for. So, as these start to dry out a little bit, I just give them a little bit of stroke, leave them aside a bit. You can use a warm uh, lamp, set that on to help it dry. As that dries out, it's given us the final sort of shape of our throat. <laughs> 